Just when we thought we had seen it all, Simone Biles pulled off an incredible comeback, winning gold in the women's all-around at the Paris Olympics, while Suni Lee, battling two rare kidney diseases, snagged the bronze. Imagine witnessing not one but two former Olympic champs dominating the stage again. Can you believe how their performances are reshaping the future of gymnastics? Her comeback, this, um, the Paris Games were really her redemption, this so-called redemption tour that she's been on after she had to The Tokyo Olympics were a whirlwind for Simone Biles. She came in as the favorite, the greatest gymnast of all time, but things took an unexpected turn. In the middle of her performances, she experienced the twisties, a terrifying phenomenon where gymnasts lose their sense of spatial awareness. This wasn't just a minor hiccup, it was a serious mental block that could have led to catastrophic injuries. Imagine spinning and flipping in the air and suddenly not knowing up from down. It's the stuff of nightmares. Because of this, Biles made the brave decision to withdraw from several events, prioritizing her mental health over competition. While many supported her, understanding the immense pressure she was under, others criticized her, calling her a quitter and questioning her toughness. They didn't grasp the full scope of what she was dealing with. Inez, tell us about the redemption for Simone Biles coming back after, you know, pretty disappointing Tokyo and now Olympic all-around champ once again. Fast forward to the Paris Olympics and we see a completely different narrative. Simone Biles embarked on what many are calling her redemption tour. After Tokyo, she took the time needed to focus on her mental health working with specialists and therapists to overcome the twisties. She wasn't just sitting idle, she was rigorously training, both physically and mentally, to prepare for her comeback. The Paris Games were more than just another competition for her. They were a chance to prove to herself and the world that she could still be at the top of her game. This journey of recovery was marked by resilience and determination, showcasing a side of Biles that the world had rarely seen before. The women's all-around competition in Paris was nothing short of spectacular. From the moment she stepped onto the floor, you could sense the focus and determination radiating from her. She executed each routine with precision and grace, showing no signs of the twisties that had plagued her in Tokyo. The competition was fierce, especially with Brazil's Rebecca Andrade pushing hard for the top spot. But Biles held her ground, performing flawlessly on the vault, bars, beam, and floor. When the final scores were tallied, she had won the gold medal by just over one point, a narrow but decisive victory. Suni Lee's story is nothing short of incredible. Back in the Tokyo Olympics, she stepped into the spotlight under extraordinary circumstances. Simone Biles, the reigning queen of gymnastics, had to withdraw due to the twisties, and suddenly all eyes were on Lee. It was her moment to shine, and she didn't disappoint. Lee performed with remarkable poise and skill, capturing the gold medal in the all-around competition. It was a historic win, not just for her, but for the entire Hmong American community, as she became the first Hmong American gymnast to win Olympic gold. Her victory was celebrated around the world, and it cemented her status as a rising star in gymnastics. But Lee's journey to the Paris Olympics was anything but smooth. After her triumph in Tokyo, she faced a daunting challenge off the mat, battling two rare kidney diseases. These conditions were not just minor health issues, they were severe enough to put her entire athletic career at risk. Imagine being at the peak of your career, only to face a health crisis that threatens to take it all away. Yet, Suni Lee showed extraordinary resilience. She underwent intensive treatment and worked closely with her medical team to manage her condition. At the same time, she continued her rigorous training, determined to compete in Paris. Her journey was a testament to her unwavering spirit and determination to overcome any obstacle. When it came time to compete in Paris, Lee was ready. The women's all-around competition was fierce, with some of the best gymnasts in the world vying for a spot on the podium. Lee's performance was nothing short of spectacular. Her floor routine, in particular, was a standout. She executed it with such precision and flair, sticking her landings perfectly and flashing her brilliant smile to the cheering crowd. It was clear that she had given it her all, 
leaving everything on the floor. The battle for third place was intense, with Lee going head to head with some of the toughest competitors. Question is actually for Suni. Excellent. Um, you told me a couple months ago you were rotting in bed, and now you have an Olympic bronze medal in the all around. What does it take? Suni Lee secured the bronze medal, a remarkable achievement considering everything she'd been through. Standing on the podium, you could see the pride and joy on her face. This bronze was more than just a medal. It was a symbol of her perseverance and strength. Lee had not only proven her medal as a top gymnast, but had also shown that no matter the challenges, she could rise above them. Her story is one of inspiration, showing us all that with determination and hard work, we can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. The Paris Olympics were a defining moment for Team USA, particularly in women's gymnastics. Simone Biles and Suni Lee's performances were the highlights, with Biles clinching the gold in the all-around and Lee securing the bronze. These achievements were not just individual triumphs, but a testament to the strength and depth of the entire team. In the team all-around final, Biles and Lee led Team USA to an outstanding performance. Their leadership and excellence set the tone, and their teammates followed suit, executing their routines with precision and flair. The combination of Biles' unparalleled skill and Lee's incredible resilience created a dynamic duo that was unbeatable. Imagine being surrounded by thousands of fans, all buzzing with excitement and chanting for Team USA. The whole place was electric, like you could almost feel the pride and joy in the air. Everywhere you looked, there were American flags waving high, and the crowd's energy was so intense, it felt like a living, breathing thing. When Simone Biles and Suni Lee stepped up for their routines, the entire arena went silent, almost like everyone collectively held their breath. You could cut the tension with a knife. And then, with each flawless move and perfect landing, the crowd just erupted into the most thunderous applause and cheers. It was impossible not to get caught up in the excitement. After their performances, the celebrations were something else, so joyous and emotional. You could see fans and teammates alike hugging, high-fiving, and sharing in the triumph. It was a moment of pure, unfiltered joy. But honestly, what Biles and Lee achieved in Paris goes way beyond just winning medals and getting accolades. For so many young gymnasts and athletes around the world, they're like these incredible beacons of hope and inspiration. Take Simone Biles, for instance. Watching her overcome her mental health struggles and come back stronger than ever sends such a powerful message about resilience and not giving up. It's like she's saying, hey, it's okay to face challenges and you can still reach the top. And then there's Suni Lee. Her story is equally inspiring. Can you believe she battled kidney diseases and still made it to the Olympic podium? It's such a testament to what determination and support can achieve. Her journey shows that no matter what obstacles come your way, if you stay determined and have a solid support system, you can accomplish amazing things. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.